What's up YouTube? This is Matt. Today I'm coming at you guys with a $300 gaming PC. That's right, as you can see at the bottom of the PC part picker list, it comes in at $302. Now, this is about as cheap as you can get for a gaming PC, but it's going to give you surprisingly good results, so let's jump right in. Starting off with the CPU, I went with an AMD Athlon 5350 quad core APU. Like the name implies quad core, it's got four cores and they're clocked at 2.05 gigahertz. Now, this is about as cheap as a CPU as it comes at only $45 after a $5 rebate code, which you'll find in the parts picker list. And really it's cheap, but it gets the job done and allows savings in other places. Moving on to the motherboard, I went with the MSI AM1i ATX motherboard. This is a micro ATX motherboard, but it has everything we need for only $30 with nice stuff like USB 3.0 and a full PCIe Express lane. Moving on to the RAM, I went with 4 gigs of Crucial RAM. It's DDR3 and 1600 MHz. Now, for $27, it's really the ideal amount for this price point. Moving on to the hard drive, I went with a 320 gigabyte Western Digital Mechanical hard drive. For around $25, this is going to give you plenty of room for an OS and a modest game collection. Moving on to the GPU, which is going to make this PC into a gaming computer, is the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti Superclocked. This has 2 gigs of VRAM, and for $125, it's a great bang for the buck. Now, many of you are probably wondering, is the CPU for this build going to bottleneck this GPU? And my answer to that is maybe. It depends on the game you're playing. If you're playing a GPU intensive game, then it's really not going to bottleneck it. But if the game is very CPU intensive, like Skyrim, it is going to bottleneck it. And there's a really great video about this by PC Perspective that actually pairs a 750 Ti with this exact processor and also pairs the 750 Ti with an i7 to show you what games it bottlenecks and what it doesn't. Moving on to the case, I went with a Fractal Design Core 1100. This is a $30 case, it looks pretty good and does everything we need it to. Moving on to the power supply, I went with a 500 watt EVGA 80 plus certified power supply. This is only $20 and it's going to give us plenty of headroom. So, as you can see guys, you can build a gaming PC for only $300. All of the PC part picker list down in the description. And if you enjoyed this, please comment, like, and subscribe. And this is Matt from Tech by Matt signing out.